crew's nightly downlink of their personal footage just before 6.30 p.m. Central Time. We're part of the Space Flight Meteorology Group here at the John Johnson Space Center, and we'll be retiring at the conclusion of this STS-119 mission. My first impression is uh, the space station interior is so big, and uh, I would love to stay here as long as I can, and I'm so glad to be already uh, being able to work with the uh, European uh, Space Agency experiments and then uh, Japanese experiments, and uh, Columbus module, Kibo module, and the laboratory, Russia modules. Uh, the interior is so big and very comfortable to live in. Of the transfer that's left, that's primarily the two spacewalks. Even though these arrays are, were built many years ago, they're still the largest ones in space, and I think it's a real tribute to American ingenuity leveraged with international cooperation that we're able to put this sort of thing up here. And I think the uh, taxpayers of the U.S. and all the uh, member nations can be really proud that we've now got a, uh, a fully powered uh, space station that can handle six people and a full suite of experiments. We seem to do a pretty good job of tracking a lot of debris out in space. And uh, for us to uh, adjust our trajectory ever so slightly is really a, a non-event. It takes less than a, a minute or two of our time. And uh, so from our perspective, it has no impact whatsoever in our operations here on, on shuttle or, or the International Space Station. Discovery, ISS, and the media located at NASA centers. We are now resuming operational space to ground communications. Uh, we'll start with Frank here in Houston. Frank Boring with Aviation Week. Could you describe how undocking tomorrow will occur at approximately uh, 2.55 p.m. Uh, Central Time, where uh, the shuttle will uh, release the hooks and back out to a distance of uh, about, um, about 400 to 600 feet, where they'll initiate the fly-around maneuver. They'll take pictures of the space station so that we can see how it looks with all of its solar arrays uh, completely uh, unfurled and, and in a symmetric configuration. And then shuttle will execute separation burns and, and move to a, a lower orbit where it'll remain for another day or so in preparation for landing on Saturday at the Kennedy Space Center. That's the words of shuttle commander Lee Archambault recognizing